Okay, so the discussion today is about releasing my pain. <sighs> this is a place where most of you are going to get in the future at some point. So it's good to know a little bit about it beforehand. But not too much, otherwise you might not do it. <laughs> no, it's okay. Well, what we've got to have done first, let's have a look at the things we have to have done before we can do this. So, so, this, so releasing the pain discussion um, really depends upon the fact that you've done these things. Okay? So what I must have done... Okay, first thing, what do you reckon it is? Any ideas? Just yell it out if you think you are. No, I can't, oh, didn't hear any of it. <laughs> you, might, you might have said it, but... You must have developed some faith. Without faith, it's impossible for you to even contemplate dealing with your pain. And without faith, you can't have gone through this process. So if you, if you find when by the time you get to this process, you, or you think you're at this process, and you still feel scared of the whole thing, then you haven't done what's above it. Simple as that. Because once you've done what's above it, you're not frightened of it anymore. All right? <laughs> Very, very simple. And faith is what draws you. Remember in this process, we learnt last night, in this process of deconstructing the facade, you learn faith. Right? So if by the time you've got, gone through that and you get to this and you still can't handle this, there's still not faith. Faith hasn't been developed yet. Faith is the key thing that's going to carry you through everything and you're going to need to develop it without fail. It's an essential quality. So, so you must have developed some faith. If you don't develop faith, no chance of you actually progressing, really. Okay. The second thing you must have done is accept your facade. I still notice many of you asking questions about your pain when you're actually asking questions about your pain associated with not getting your addictions met. Still haven't deconstructed the facade. Still even haven't accepted it. Still believe you can skip over it. Still believe you can get away with not having compassion for it. Still believe that you can have an awakening to sin without each and even knowing what, how you sinned. And that's not possible. So this is a part of your, this is step number one in your awakening to sin. If you don't perform step number one in awakening to sin, you're never going to get to step number two, awakening to sin. So very important that you've done that already. Before you can release pain, you'll need to have done that. Three, you have to have deconstructed your facade. In other words, you've gone through this process of getting out of denial and into awareness. You're now aware of, if not most, if not all, certainly most, of your physical, emotional and spiritual addictions. You've also deconstructed them. You've also stopped yourself from... You've found the emotional reason that drives their validation and drives your justification for you to get the addiction met and you've released the emotional reason for, for that. So that emotional reason no longer exists inside of you. So you're not always justifying to yourself and others meeting <coughs> your own addictions. Right? You'll have found by that stage that most of your anger and rage has disappeared. So 
by this stage a lot of your anger and rage has disappeared you're no longer you're no longer focused on just getting addictions met you're not addicted to comfort and satisfaction anymore you're okay you, you've, by this stage you've developed a, a feeling that you're okay with feeling emotion now you're okay with being overwhelmed by any emotion you need to be in that state that you're okay with being overwhelmed by emotion and that all is developed during the deconstruction of your facade deconstruction of all of the techniques that you use in your facade now by that stage you've you've had an awakening to sin by that stage you've now developed some humility by that stage you're used to experiencing emotion by that stage you're very focused on truth aren't you so those four key tools you're very, you know, you're very aware of their need and necessity of development. So you, you already have an aspiration to develop them further, and you love them by this stage. You love those tools. Now, how I know most of you are not there yet is because when I start talking truth to most of you, it's like, get away from me. So this is an indication that you're not there yet, because a person who's gone through their deconstruction of their facade loves the truth they love working out things that are relating to their pain they love to hear about these things it's a part of their discovery of truth about themselves and they love that they even and by this stage you also have a, a fair amount of compassion for yourself right where you where you actually love yourself you love yourself enough to experience your emotions because because that's a part of loving yourself being willing to experience all of your emotions is actually a part of loving oneself. So, so that would need to have been done. Now, remember the point, too, of doing all of that was to, to actually get to this, wasn't it? And to actually release that. So that's the fourth thing you would need to have done as well, is released... terror. So you'd have to have released terror. And remember, the other point of the facade was to desensitize yourself to pain. So what, as a part of this, you would have to have sensitized yourself to pain. In other words, you can feel the pain inside of you. And you can still feel that there's fears suppressing it, but you're at least feeling the pain inside of you. And the fears suppressing it are not the terror that you had. The terror you had is dealt with. That's gone, you've gone through a process of dealing with terror. And that process is going to look pretty bad to you. It's going to look pretty bad to others if anybody sees you doing it as well. And that would need to have been done. Now, can any of you honestly say all that's been done? Not really, right? Okay, so that means that you're not at the point of releasing your pain. And that's, you can see that you're not, because if you examine releasing pain, there some, there's some primary states that you're in in that place, and we'll talk about that a little bit in a minute. So that's what I must have done. Pretty clear? Yeah. Yeah. So you could say the majority of us still have a little faith. We have a little faith, not, not none. Otherwise you probably wouldn't even be here at all, right? You've also been willing to start to look at yourself, right? But for most of you, that's not a compassionate process yet, right? You're not, not yet have compassion for yourself in that place. You're still attacking yourself and abusing yourself. And, and also there's a temptation in that place to abuse other people when they expose things in yourself as well. And that still frequently happens for the majority. So that means that the majority of us are there, right? And then there's that deconstruction process, and this is a beautiful process that God's designed as a part of your awakening to sin, so that by the time you come out of that process, you've awakened. It's like it's like somebody's got you, you know, in the morning, you know, when you're just real tired and you're just you're just laying there and you're just about to sleep. And somebody comes along and is shaking you awake. <laughs> ah, what, 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 what? And then that, there's that initial confusion, and then oh yes, I'm awake. I'm here now. I'm here now. And and that's really what you feel. It's like that emotionally. You start feeling like you're awake now. And before you were asleep or 
or half dead <laughs> is, what you, is what you feel, right? So the deconstruction process is very key, pivotal process for you to go through because that deconstruction process it helps you develop many tools that you're going to need. It helps you finish up having a strong faith in the process, in God's process. You, you also, during this phase, has usually started to receive some God's love because God approves of each thing that you do in harmony with love. And you feel that after a while, once you have a longing. So you're starting to feel a little bit of God's love. That builds some faith as well. So your faith is now quite strong. Your humility is now quite strong. You are quite able to examine yourself. You don't need anybody else telling you much about yourself at all at this point. You can see things very clearly. You know that it's an emotional process. You're not resisting your emotional process. And so things are pretty open, so pretty humble. You're accepting all of your feelings. Very, very important place. And, and then, you remember, the whole point of doing that was to get to touch your terror and be able to feel your pain. And by this stage, you're really starting. You've, you've gone through your terror, and now you're pretty open to the pain and the false beliefs that are above it. Does that make sense? And these are still fears, they're not that, but they're not terrors anymore. They're fears, and because they are only fears and not terrors, they're pretty easy to feel in comparison with terror. So you've already gone through terror, so now feeling your fears is nowhere near as difficult as it was before. Does that make sense? You know what you've really done? All of that process has done something to you. You've done this. Become a child again. But not just a child anymore, but a child with awareness, a child with capacity to understand. So you're childlike without being childish. Does that make sense? You now have a capacity to understand.